Our next outstanding alum is from the class of 1986, Tommy Hecker. Tom Heckert, or Tommy, as he is affectionately referred to by friends and family, is from the class of 1986 and is being honored posthumously for his contributions in the area of athletics. He may have only lived for a short 51 years, but his contributions far outnumber his years. Tom was able to reach his professional goal of becoming an NFL general manager. He played an integral part in three Super Bowls, one of them a Super Bowl championship, while being loved and respected by those in his profession. He distinguished himself well in his profession and in life. Athletics, and particularly football, were a major part of Tom's life from early on. His dad was football coach at Adrian College, and Tom tagged along as water boy, ball boy, watching films, or anything else that was needed. His sister Kim says he wore football pads to ride bikes and to Christmas dinner. His dad claims he wore them every day. As he grew older, he played football as a Springbrook Spartan and an Adrian Maple. As a Hillsdale College Charger, he was a member of their 1985 National Championship team. His first coaching job was at Hillsdale as assistant coach. Soon after college graduation, Tom went to the Miami Dolphins. He displayed a mature outstanding of the subtleties that made the difference in identifying talent and potential in players. Tom impressed Coach Shula so much that he hired him to be a pro and college scout. Now Tom was working with his dad. He ended his stay with the Dolphins as director of pro personnel. He would spend 27 seasons in the NFL. His next move was to the Philadelphia Eagles from 2001 to 2005 as director of player personnel and general manager from 2006 to 2009. He was on his way up in the NFL. He was being noticed and the Eagles made it to the Super Bowl. Then he went to the Cleveland Browns as general manager from 2010 to 2012. In 2013, he was hired by the Denver Broncos, where he remained until 2017. He spent the last five years in the Broncos personnel department, helping the team to three playoff appearances, two AFC championship game wins, and a victory in Super Bowl 50 in 2015. He left due to ill health. In his career, Heckert had the opportunity to play for three of the most successful head coaches in NFL history, including Don Shula, Jimmy Johnson, and Andy Reid. To the NFL, he was one of the best personnel executives and talent evaluators. He worked tirelessly and achieved incredible success. Family and football were a theme through Tommy's life. The family was invited to games, and because so many traveled together, they called themselves Team Heckert. Tom even presented the family with orange sweatshirts with a big blue H in the middle to wear as team uniforms. Many of the family members who wrote supporting letters for his nomination spoke of his love of family, immediate as well as extended. He provided many events that brought the family together, and he always looked forward to gathering with them after the games. The Heckert family motto, Family and Football, carries on today. On Saturdays in the fall, you will find Team Heckert gathered together in the stands, throwing confetti and cheering on the Siena Heights University Saints football team. The family legacy continues with Tommy's nephew Noah, who currently coaches football at Siena Heights. Several cohorts and friends wrote supporting letters with touching stories about Tom. They didn't dwell on his professional accomplishments as much as his character, which they felt spoke so much about why Tom is a model for professionals as well as students. Aaron Shea, who worked with Tom at the Browns, said he was just one of those guys that people wanted to be around. He knew how to make people laugh and made hard times easier. Another mentioned he always took time for people, no matter their rank. Another observer said this about Tom. You know what's special about Tom Heckert? He not only selects his teams with care, he cares about his teams once they're selected. His friends say he never forgot to do small things for others, poems, songs, phone calls, or anything else to let you know he cared. One teammate and friend called Tom an authentic man and said he always focused on being the best version of himself. Tom possessed tremendous character and compassion. There is a myriad of touching stories in his pages of supporting letters. It is obvious that Tom is deeply missed. He has left an indelible legacy for the people he mentored, 
his beautiful children, Griffin and Madison, and his family and friends. Congratulations to the Heckert family. Representing Team Heckert and accepting Tommy's award is his nephew, Noah Bull, AHS Class of 2011. That's all right. Take the long one. We all wish Tommy could be here tonight, but it's an honor except for him. Uh, there was enough time to tell the stories that everybody reached out with, so I'm going to share the three things Tommy taught me. First off, it's not what he did, but it's what he didn't do. Every day we categorize people in these roles in our life, whether they're coworkers, friends, family. Tommy never did that. He surrounded himself with people that he loved. His coworkers were his friends, and his friends were his family. To be successful, you have to surround yourself with positive people. The second is attitude and generosity. He taught me good or bad, you're going to impact every person you see or talk to's life one way or another. So be positive. You never saw Uncle Tommy without a smile on his face. He taught me that when you can, you help. Because that extra 1% on a tip, that extra one minute on the phone, or that one extra text message before bed can be the difference in somebody's life. And lastly, understanding the quality of life versus, or the quality of time versus the quantity of time. There came a point when we knew there was only so much time left. He never wanted to waste a minute. He taught me that if you sit there and you worry about how much time you spend doing something, the quality of that time suffers. But if you can sit back, laugh, love, and enjoy every minute of it, the, qual or the quality or the quantity of that time will never matter. You have to find what you love and you have to do it. Uncle Tommy was an amazing man. He had a loving heart, and his desire to help others is why we're all here. We are just all lucky enough to be a part of his family. Thank you.